Hi, I am Teacher Daisy. Now, let's learn Form 4 Chemistry Chapter 5 Chemical Bond, Part 1. In this part, you will learn 5.1 Basics of Compound Formation. 5.1 Basics of Compound Formation Relationship between stability of group 18 elements and electron arrangement Group 18 elements, inert gases, such as helium, neon, argon, and krypton exist as monoatomic gases in the atmosphere. Inert gases are chemically inert, because the outermost shell of these atoms is fully occupied by valence electrons, and they have stable electron arrangements. Electron arrangement, and stability of group 18 elements, the electron arrangement of helium is 2. Helium atom has a duplet electron arrangement. The electron arrangement of neon and argon are 2.8 and 2.8.8. Neon and argon atoms has an octet electron arrangement. They do not donate, receive, or share electrons with other atoms. All other atoms of elements attempt to gain lose or share electrons to achieve stable electron arrangements through the formation of chemical bonds. Conditions for the formation of chemical bonds Chemical bonds are formed during the chemical reaction between atoms of the same element or different element in order to form a new compound. Only valence electrons in the outermost shell involve in the formation of a chemical bond. The outermost shell of each particle must be completely filled with electrons so that the particles, atom or ions, in the newly formed compound attain a stable electron arrangement, duplet, or octet electron arrangement. Octet rule states that atom of element tend to have eight electrons in its outermost shell, giving it the same electron arrangement, electronic configuration as an inert gas. The atom that has attained octet electron arrangement is more chemically stable. Metal atoms from group 1 and 2 lose one or two more electrons to attain stable octet electron arrangement. Nonmetal atoms from group 16 and 17 need one or two more electrons to attain an octet electron arrangement. These atoms tend to accept electrons because the ionization energy to discharge 6 or 7 valence electrons is much higher than the energy needed to pull electrons into its outermost shell. Nonmetal atoms from group 14 and 15 tend to share electrons because less energy is needed. An atom that does not have 8 valence electrons can obtain an octet electron arrangement in its outer shell by forming ionic bond or covalent bond. A. Ionic bond Transfer of electrons between a metal atom and a non-metal atom A more electropositive lithium atom donates its valence electron to a fluorine atom A lithium ion, Li cation is formed A more electronegative fluorine atom receives the electron into its outermost shell A fluoride ion, F anion is formed both lithium ion, Li cation, and fluoride ion, F anion achieves a stable electron arrangement, duplet, or octet electron arrangement. B. Covalent bond, sharing of electrons between nonmetal atoms. Both hydrogen and oxygen are nonmetal atoms. These are electronegative elements with high ionization energy. Hence, these atoms do not donate their valence electrons. Both oxygen and hydrogen atoms contribute their valence electrons for sharing. All hydrogen and oxygen atoms in the water molecules achieve the stable electron arrangements, duplet or octet electron arrangement. Example, both hydrogen and nitrogen are nonmetal atoms. Hence, these atoms do not donate their valence electrons. Both nitrogen and hydrogen atoms contribute their valence electrons for sharing. All hydrogen and nitrogen atoms 
in the water molecules achieve the stable electron arrangements, duplet, or octet electron arrangement. Example, figure shows the electron arrangements of atoms X and Y. What type of chemical bond will be formed when these two atoms combine together? Solution, X atom has four valence electrons. Hence, it is a group 14 element. Y atom has seven valence electrons. Hence, it is a group 17 element. Both atoms X and Y are nonmetal elements and unlikely to donate electrons. X and Y atoms can only achieve the stable electron arrangements through sharing of electrons or formation of a covalent bond. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.